Welcome back to my channel! Welcome back to yet another episode of your favorite game, Monster Islands. Yes, I know. It's an Easter Day event and a new quest that I've been willing to finally do after finishing the egg hunt, which basically took over my life. I'm still releasing some egg hunt episodes. I just finished filming like most of the episodes, so I'll be releasing those after I release this video also. So today we're gonna just try out the egg hunt. Sorry, I mean the whatever this is. There's pendants, and then there's this guy which I've done last year, and then right here. A new quest is finally here to speak to John. Visit the gym train your house. Okay, so we're gonna actually visit this guy's first, and then uh, visit do this one. So I guess the first thing we need to do is get to Vital Island. Talk to Miles, talk to Vital Island. No, 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 I want to go to Vital Island. Oh my god, I, I keep doing that uh, double jump in the shift, like the one in the. in the. what's it called? The. the egg hunt? It just gets me. And I think the last time I visited egg hunt since I finished. Everything like in getting your 15th egg was like yesterday because I was taking pictures of like the guests and sceneries of one of that group because you know why the heck not? Okay, um, let's go to the gem tree. The wait, is he on the retail island or is he on the boat? I forgot. Whenever I get a a gem, I just automatically sell it just because I lost uses but then like when it came out I got very upset I was like wow okay so let's see the shop oh this is a gem trader hello there what can I do for you where can I find gems I like to see sell oh no not sell no 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 um I got no none no element okay, so let's see how these are what can I do for you? What can I find gems? What's that work table? This is the amulet enhancer. You can use it to craft poke amulet. How can I make them without poke amulet? The, they are a type of item that you can equip a special space in your inventory. They have unique abilities which can benefit you in many different ways. The type of metal, metal they are made from depends how powerful they are. Certain levels also require to equip some amulet. Um, how can I make them? You need to find a gem. You can get those by mining ores. Well, obviously. I get a lot of, like, sapphires or and topaz. I think topaz is... Topaz, and then I got amethyst, amethyst and then emerald. Those are very common. Okay, step into it. Okay. Okay, let's see what they have in store for us. So this is the new gems. Um the way trade gem. Let's see what the amulets are like. Um you are less likely Oh, so they are Oh my god, they have so much. Oh they have diamond. Ooh. Wow, okay. Well, on my own time. We're not gonna do it in this way because our main focus is the tomb quest. On my own time when I go back to Monster Island, well I am technically back at Monster Island because I just, like again, like I said, I finished filming egg hunt and I'm expecting episodes to come out during April. Um, so let's see, yeah. I think we should start by talking to Jean. Hello there, are you ready to craft a water blast staff? To my knowledge, you'll be... What is it? Hmm. This way is it. I've done this before. So how the tomb is new is the water flask that, that I have yet to get on access. The only staff I can access is the air elemental, which is pretty useful. Um... Okay. Welcome back to my house, Traveler. I assume you're here to craft a wild blaster. I have no idea why I'm here. 
Okay, yeah, that would be definitely good. Well, let's get serious here. Very well, well. But you must go and use a knife on pine trees to craft. Use a knife or on a pine tree to craft a suitable wooden shaft. Should be amazing task. You can use a knife I gave you last time to do it. Return to me once I. Once you have the shaft. Okay, got a knife. This looks like a mad wood in there. So here you can put a pro camera on. If you guys have any recommendations for what perk I should use, comment down below. I'm about if you guys are wondering where my things are, I'm mostly about speed well, half speed, half defense. I'm mostly like a defensive person or like I don't know. Or like Well actually speed is the key, so between I can just say between defensive and speed. That makes no sense. Wait, cut shaft? How many shafts do I need? Wait. One shaft, okay. Nice, 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 nice. Also, this is pretty good if you guys are wanting to do this. Okay, this is the easy today. Well, I mean, for this guy. Oh, there's some I haven't gotten yet. He's telling you how to get them, so he has no actual quest. Also, on my own time, I'll get try to get most of the items from the Easter Bunny because um, last year I ran out of time. Well done. Now that you now you need to craft silver or to sit on top of the shaft. Do you know how to do that? Uh, no. It's been way too long. You'll need to craft a silver bar. You'll need a silver ore and carbon to smelt them. Then use the silver bar to release a smelty orb. Return to me once you have the silver ore. Go hold on to the shaft for you. Okay, nice, thank you. Very helpful. So this is the silver ore. Well, this is a tin and copper, the basics of the basics. I swear to god, I keep doing the double jump and then... Then shift. Uh, this here leads to the I forgot the thief to piece that for his name. I think someone's trying to attack me that wall. I mean, my phoenix is not attacking. He's now free as a pet. Wait, what do I do? You take the nearby orb mold and use it with the silver bar to small the silver orb. Oh, I need to use the furnace for that. Okay, that makes sense now. Oh my god. I just remember it's the last time, like, the last time I did a quest similar to that was two years ago where I crafted the fire elemental? Or the uh, elemental. Either one of those two. So, yeah. Um. Oops, okay. Did I get it? I got it. First item. Is that all I need? Should be. I mean, excellent. I will place the orb on top of the shaft to create a silver staff. Do you then need to head take the staff to the water shrine to imbue it? Now, the water shrine is located deep in Saro's ancient tomb, a heavily trapped pyramid on the coastline of Saradan. Who is Saradan? Who is this? It's a large desert on the west here under the rural country Ag Ajika. Ajika, I'm pronouncing these wrong. A part of the continent of Medora. This probably means nothing to you, however, we will not be entering into Seridan itself. Just its coastline, since that is where the tomb is located. Perhaps one day you'll be you'll be able to visit the great land of Seradan. Okay, how do I get there? You need to get there by boat. That honey dinghy you used before you travel to Baraz Island will not work this time. The distance is far too great. The cargo ship station at docks can take you there. If this is at sail for the mainland for, one, for a while, so it will be free for use. However, you need to convince the ship's captain to sail you there. If we talk to Jean, he should be able to work something out for you. Before you go, you must know that the pyramid is sealed and the key is fixed. However, it shouldn't be too far from the tomb, most likely buried in the sand surrounding it. To my knowledge, there are a couple of 
archaeologist. There are a couple archaeologists camp camp there who could help you find it. Good luck, traveler. All right, got the silver staff, and I should talk to John. You're back. How goes your quest? I need to steal to Zyril's tomb. Ah, I can help you with that. The cargo ship stations at the dark at the docks can take you there. It's not scheduled for a leave for a while, so it's free to use for three, four years until then. You will need a warrant to show Captain Variety in order for you, him to steal you there. Let me write one up for you. Jonas will pulls a piece of parchment seemingly from nowhere. Seemingly from nowhere. <laughs> Nice! Like, I thought I was suspecting, like, off from a pocket or so. Or, I don't know, to be honest. Uh, here we are. Show this to the captain of the cargo ship and he'll take you to Zyril's tomb. I need you to take me to Zyril's tomb. Yeah, why should I do that? You show the one. The cap. You show the war to captain. What? Is it grammatically correct or not? You show the war and the cap. Wait, I think it's good. Okay, either it's me, my. Is that just me, or this is grammatically incorrect? It's supposed to be you show the war to the captain. He stands reading it for a few seconds. Okay, I don't know. I don't know who wrote it. I think Steel wrote it, but it's kind of grammatically incorrect. Sorry. <laughs> All right, climb aboard then. Okay. Okay, quick join. All right, here we go. Um, so I had to check my phone for two seconds. It's a Facebook Messenger. Uh, so here we can change materials. Sorry, I mean. Whatever that's called. Ooh, very nice. This is getting exciting indeed. This will be a very interesting gameplay. Um, okay, so this is the strange old man. So let's see what you can find. You can find a broken sword, you can find a rusted coin, you can find a brass bar, a zombie sword, an ancient crown. So that's all you can find. Okay. Ah! Now this is something I've never seen. Zinc rock and then there's copper rock, which I think we've most of us seen. So this is all new. Um, let me check the quest journal. I have... I have a warrant that I can show it to the crew. I need to bring... Okay, the silver staff is with me. Where am I supposed to go now? Um, inside the tomb. Actually, first of all, what monsters can we find? Or is there anyone we can talk to? Okay, we brought the shovel. Dig the sand. We need a spade to dig it here. Oh God, my spade is left. It's left on retirement. Great. Um, oh, I pick one up. This looks like an entrance to the tomb. There's a large symbol on the seal with a small indent with a shape next to it. This must be the seal Gafdan is talk talked about. You should talk to the archaeologist nearby to start with, with the key. Okay. I need to find the key to the tomb. Wow, not even a hello. Alright <laughs> there. Wow! I'm so rude in this. That's so... That's so... I don't want to say savage or anything. That's so. Yeah, I would say impolite. I don't know where the key is. But it shouldn't be too far. We've been digging around here for a while. Found some interesting artifacts. No key yet. So, so far. However, help yourself to a spade and start digging a loose sandpit. I think you can find it. Find some dead sand, take it to the spare specimen table inside. An insect and to uncover the, the item. Inside, I'll be hunting. Oh boy. Well, I already dig one up. Am I supposed to talk to her? Maybe this is the one I'm supposed to. You place the sand chunk under the table, start excavating. You find nothing. Look, 
not too long, it's not that hard. I see the teeny to be lucky. You find a strange looking symbol. This could be the, t t the tomb. Alright, I think that's it. Hmm. Should be the one. You place the symbol into the matching slot. You twist the plate and the mechanism clicks. Seal opens. And now I'm in. Is that it? I found the key to the tomb and used it to unlock the seal. I should enter in such a rat. Hmm. Weird symbols. They're missing a. Wait a sec. Aren't they missing something? Or is it just. Okay, well, I think that's wrong. Okay, so I have to examine these. You attempt to open the door with all these trays. It's securely locked. There's a set of four different symbols on the door. Maybe there's a key to unlock it. Hmm. Oh, I know how this works. Okay, I know how this works. Um, you need to turn these guys and it has to match with like whatever the symbol is. So this is a triangle. So turn. And then this is a square. So shift turn. Or maybe it's on the square already. Nope. Square. Nope. Square. The next one is uh, whatever that is. Pentagon. Nope. Nope. And the final one should be that weird looking shape, which I don't know what it is to be honest. Okay. There we go. Oh what? There's some something flashed. I can pass now. Born now. Is that? I think that's new now. Go away. Go away. Yeah, I should pass by these zombies. Wait. Okay, that's the dead end. Alright, pass that. Climb down ladder. There is no, there's no visible handle or lock on this huge door. You can't find a way to open it. Maybe the four pestles in front of the door has a clue. Maybe I should examine those now. Those both vessels each have their own unique symbol on them. They're the same symbols from the previous door. They seem to s they seem to be some form of complex pressure plate. Placing the correct symbol on each pestle by the locked door. You should look around for the symbols to place on the pestles. How long have I been doing this quest for? Because I feel like I could do it like I could continue it next time. And then like Yeah, I'll continue it next video. This is this is where we're gonna end because I feel like this might be a little too long for a video if I just like to keep doing the quest. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I will link this game down below in the description box so you guys go check it out. And I will see you guys in the next video where we will leave off from the quest. Hopefully this saves.